Welcome to Civil Engineering for Learners by Dr. K. Aravinthan. Waste Management Health and Environmental Effects An effective solid waste management system is necessary to avoid public health disasters, the spread of disease by insects, vectors, and adverse effects on water and air. Solid waste workers are the most exposed to the risks of parasitic infections and accidents. To the direct and indirect risks through accidents, exposure and spread of disease, we must add the effect of visual pollution caused by litter and nuisance created by smoke and dust at disposal sites. Public Health Effect The volume of waste is increasing rapidly as a result of the increasing population and improving economic conditions in various localities. This increased volume of waste is posing serious problems due to an insufficient workforce and other constraints in disposing of it properly. Disease Vectors and Pathways Wastes dumped indiscriminately provide the food and environment for thriving populations of vermin, which are the agents of various diseases. The pathways of pathogen transmission from wastes to humans are mostly indirect through insects, flies, mosquitoes, and roaches and animals, rodents and pigs. flies. Most common in this category is the housefly, which transmits typhoid, salmonellosis, gastroenteritis, and dysentery. The migration of larvae within 4 to 10 days provides the clue to an effective control measure, necessitating the removal of waste before the migration of larvae. In warm weather, municipal waste should be collected twice weekly for effective control. In addition, the quality of household and commercial storage containers is very significant. Clearly, the use of suitable storage containers and general cleanliness at their location, as well as frequent collection of wastes, greatly reduces the population of flies. Covering solid wastes with a layer of earth at landfill sites at the end of every day arrests the problem of fly breeding at the final stage. Mosquitoes. They transmit diseases such as malaria, filaria, and dengue fever. They breed in stagnant water. Control measures should center on the elimination of breeding places such as tins, cans, tires, etc. Proper sanitary practices and general cleanliness in the community help eliminate mosquito problems. Roaches. These cause infection by physical contact and can transmit typhoid, cholera, and amoebiasis. The problems of roaches are associated with the poor storage of solid waste. Rodents. Rodents, rats, proliferate in uncontrolled deposits of solid wastes, which provide a source of food as well as shelter. They are responsible for the spread of diseases such as plague, murine typhus, leptospirosis, histoplasmosis, rat bite fever, salmonellosis, trichinosis, etc. The fleas, which rats carry, also cause many diseases. This problem is associated not only with open dumping and poor sanitation. Animals Apart from rodents, some animals, example, dogs, cats, pigs, etc., also act as carriers of disease. For example, pigs are involved in the spread of diseases like trichinosis, cystocercosis, and toxoplasmosis, which are transmitted through infected pork, eaten either in a raw state or improperly cooked. Solid wastes, when fed to pigs, should be properly treated, cooked at 100 degrees Celsius for at least 50 minutes with suitable equipment. Occupational Hazards Skin and blood infections resulting from direct contact with waste and from infected wounds. Eye and respiratory infections resulting from exposure to infected dust, especially during landfill operations. Diseases that result from the bites of animals feeding on the waste. Intestinal infections are transmitted by flies feeding on the waste. Chronic respiratory diseases, including cancers, result from exposure to dust and hazardous compounds. Thank you. Happy learning. See you again.